You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for the final season of Entourage. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Entourage news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Entourage! <laughs> Woo! Woo! What up? What up? I, I know, you were doing the tears and we were doing the intro. It is really sad. Is. We're one step closer to the end. Yeah. No. And that's mildly horrifying for a lot of us. <laughs> Um, welcome everyone to After Buzz TV. I'm your host for tonight, Deidre Behar. I'm joined by some very elegantly diverse, <laughs> some international. We have an international guest, welcome Canadian. He hails border. from the elegant area of Winnipeg. Canucks in the house. Hey. <laughs> um, Work it. I brought yeah. my Canadian bacon with me. Yeah, well, obviously. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, as you should. I've been waiting for someone to bring up Canadian bacon. Like for that? a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got One of the many fine too. delicacies. Uh, uh, speaking yeah. of that, uh, actually, uh, speaking of c- can- Canadian, I mean, uh, bacon, for the first time ever today, uh, I saw a Bloody Mary yes. with a piece of bacon in it. Oh, wow. there. I saw that. Hallelujah. No. Hello? Like, really? Mm-hmm. Bacon uh, you, in a you're, Bloody you're, Mary? You're, you're smiling and nodding. No, I said I, I, saw, I actually went to Home, a restaurant out here in L.A. this weekend, and somebody had that. Yeah, that was uh, at the. Uh, I was eating at the the Canary in Newport. That's just good. Was there oh, celery so too? Maybe it's a California no, the, the thing. No, the second one came s- with celery, but the first one came with bacon. That's <laughs> nauseating. Like, what the heck is yeah. that? Completely yeah. nauseating. It's so weird. Have you ever had ham on your pizza? Pepperoni. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a Hawaiian yes. pizza. It okay, works. the marinara. I see what it's you're. A, it marinates. I see where you're going with this, yeah. and yet no. Okay. Okay. Not yeah, I'm trying. No, no <laughs> but I I know that like at all the county fairs, they're doing the chocolate oh, covered bacon. Chocolate you know, covered I mean, backing. we live in igloos. We go to school it's, in dog sleds. Right. right. We, right. Your taste buds you know. are semi frozen. Yeah. 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 I get it. <laughs> we fuel our cars with maple syrup. What can I say? I've seen it happen. Thank God you made the great decision to move here. I did. Because this is where it's at. Entourage would agree, obviously. As the credits roll. That's what brought me here. Yeah, really? Did Did you start watching and you were like, I want to do this? This is Hollywood candy. Yeah. (laughs) Anything can happen here. Right? And it's easy. Like, if I I do what they do, hey. Yeah, you've got it made. I'm good. Um, really good. quick, let me re- let me really quickly introduce everybody that I'm sitting here with tonight. We'll start with the delightful mm. men sitting across the table. Oh, thank you. I'm going to pronounce his last name correctly this week. I'm going to make your father proud. I know oh. he wasn't ups- <laughs> he was a little upset on Facebook. You saw that comment. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> oh, uh, made uh, daddy mad. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, First time together and yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, David Abbott. Thank you. There we go. Pleasure to be here. I did it flawlessly. You did and it was very Please pretty. give me credit where it's yeah, my too. My last name's never sounded better today. Oh great. Yes, Good. Thank you. Um, and then we've got yeah. elegant Christopher Joseph, mm-hmm. who brings the Canadian flavor. You got that mm-hmm. right. And then on the uh, the ladies' end of everything, we've got Lillian Garcia, our Whoop Spanish whoop. import. <laughs> <laughs> right? You would never know looking at you. I know people. They, you know what the great greatest thing is is but, that I remember being in uh, in an elevator some one time, and there was a group of people that started speaking Spanish, and they were like paying compliments, which was nice. They were talking to each other. Oh, qué hermosa! Ra, 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 ra. And all of a sudden, I got out and I looked right behind him. And like, you know, as the doors were closing, I was like, oh, muchas gracias, de verdad que lo agradezco. Oh, is that like the best? This, they were like, <laughs> it's it's the the door. Door. oh, it was great. It was Good great. Timing, too. It was great. You don't and have that typical that. look. I know. You and know? it works for me. It's you know, great. Spanish, <laughs> Spanish blonde bombshell. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh I like oh, that. Oh, Thank you. Today. Thank you. Guys, I know. You can pair it when we. Yeah, <laughs> um, I went to. This is super random. I went. Actually, Sydney was with us. Yeah, so we have to introduce her. Oh yeah, Sydney DeBear. Obviously, you guys know her. She's e- after Buzz veteran. Forgettable, no, no, no. I was. Gonna tell, I was gonna tell the tire story. How my my sister needed her tires oh. rotated, so Sydney and I went with her to help her get it done. They start trying to like talk in Spanish, assuming that Haggle we don't us. understand. 
wanting to jack the price up. Oh. I'm Cuban. I don't speak Spanish fluently like you do, but I do understand a good majority of it. And we heard the shadiness going on, and they were absolutely terrified when they learned the truth. There you we go. were like, wow. yeah, we know that we, that's not how much it costs. We put Papa Bejar on yeah. the phone. He kindly handled it. Oh, yeah. He's Cuban and yes. first language, and he, he wasn't having it. No, no, he was not. But yeah, you, you can never judge a book by its cover, yeah. nonetheless. Mm, I know. Um, Life but, lesson of After Buzz. Yes. yes. Truly. But yeah, Sydney mm-hmm. DeBear, goddess, glowing tonight. Oh. Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love it. The girls on one side, the guys on the other. It's a battle, different yeah. opinions. <laughs> we make, the two of us make up three, okay? That is oh, true. Exactly. It's in height, yeah. we do make up three. Yeah, with average, your egos, yes. you average average yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe four. On <laughs> right? Who knows? Um, but yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into Entourage. Um, we all kind of agreed at the end of the episode. Shocker. I mean, Whoa. it was supposed to be an uplifting season. Dark. That's what they said it was going to be? Yes. They yeah. said it was going to be fun. It was going to be uh, a lot less dark than the previous season. Uh, and this was dark is the only word to describe what happened. Well, at yeah. the end. But you know it, what? I think it's also hitting a reality as to what's happening in Hollywood. I mean, yeah, I it really does do. resonate yeah. with, yeah. With I mean, young look Hollywood. At, yeah. I mean, look at uh, just hap- what happened with Amy Winehouse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, so sad. And I... Somebody told me, you know, I was gone for like a 10-day hiatus uh, as far as a seminar thing, so I didn't really listen to the news, but I heard right before I was going in that she'd passed away, and then it was like I didn't pay any attention to anything, so I don't know all the details, but my sister had said to me, do you know that she was trying to sober up? And it was because she went into an extreme trying to clean up all of a sudden. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Okay. She was like withdrawing so badly. Yeah. Right, so you have to be careful yeah. how you do, and that's why rehab's so important and right. all that. But I mean, that's years and years and years of her doing the drug abuse. Completely. And, and so I think, it, for me, I feel, I know it's kind of hard to watch sometimes. You want to feel good and everything like that, but at the same time, I think it's really responsible for them to kind of mm-hmm. touch, touch on, on this. this. Yeah, well, I mean, for- for so many years, this show only showed the glamorous side of everything. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think for once, it actually is pretty awesome on their part that they are showing the more realistic depiction of what Hollywood can be if you abuse the temptations mm-hmm. to a certain extent. Granted, it's the final season. It's I'm jarring. looking to yeah. I'm yeah. looking to party. I'm not looking to yeah. weep. Right. You know what? But they still have we, they still have episodes left to bring it back around. Well, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's been a bit stuff of a roller coaster ride. I mean, I think they really showed how, you know, when you enter the business to moving into the business, to, you know, kind of make your mistakes early. But, I mean, th- it, it has gotten dark. It started off fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I like I said, I'm watching this, and I'm like, this is good candy. Right? This is Hollywood <laughs> candy. candy. It's like it's like a 15-minute <laughs> nap. It's perfect. And this is like 30 minutes of Hollywood great, you know, great right. candy. But then all of a sudden it got a little confusing towards the middle. It, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like, I felt like I was watching soft porn in like season six. Oh, gosh. Every time oh, you saw yeah. Vince, he, it was like, yeah. girl, uh-huh. it was another girl, another fantastic. girl. Fantastic. Yeah. Right? I mean. Right. Would you yeah. say fantastic? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Not, not that we're complaining. <laughs> right. Not that we're complaining. I mean, see, but they were, sh- I, I kind of agree with you. They're showing right? a, they're showing a life cycle, though. Yes. You know, and so in the, they showed him coming up. And then mm-hmm. at the peak of Vince being hot, being who he was, I mean, yes, different girl every day. But I have to say, mm-hmm. all of my guy friends. Every episode, oh, he's such a boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they okay. all cool. idolize we'll get him. him. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think it's interesting, but hopefully we can steer it back home let's, to where we once. Let's hope I would I'd like yeah. it to end off on like a. Yeah. 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 A, I, I'm so glad that last season's over just because his hair grew out. Nice to see him with a full head of hair. Yeah. It's like Samson, you know? He lost oh. his hair and <laughs> everything yeah. just went done. Yeah, because he looks so much right? better right now. Yeah. yeah. So last season, I'm like, oh my God, who did that to him? So that's good. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what even upside? more so than just the obvious um, <clears throat> the suicide that happened at the end of the episode, there were like two other sad storylines that we had to deal with. So we had to deal with the fact that Clay is giving, or sorry, Andrew Dice Clay is giving a really difficult time. Yeah. With the negotiations. I love that one mm-hmm. quote. I wrote it down. Um, oh, uh, from him? You don't get a raise because you test well. I'm sorry. Coming from an actor's perspective, could nothing be more true? Right. <laughs> I, that's why it's yeah. almost too hard to believe that. I mean, I guess since Dice is known as being a bit of an a-hole, you don't put anything past him. Right. But it's just, it just seems that. shocking that he would just want to walk. Mm-hmm. It almost seems like they only hired him for so many episodes and they needed to find out a way to get him off because it's so right. jarring and it's depressing like, as you said it's depressing you're pulling for Johnny yeah, yeah. finally something's working out for him but no mm-hmm. maybe that's the through line of every season nothing can work out for Johnny kind of looks like 
Dice's life. Like, really. Right? Oh, yeah. Like right? a, an actual depiction of it. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't, it's like, do you feel bad for the guy? Do you feel? Well, I feel bad for Influence his Influence runs rampant. Yeah. Oh. You feel bad for I what? think we all I feel, feel bad, bad for his They're, they're yes. starting to run oh away from his face. <laughs> I, Did you see that? They're starting to run away from him. Oh. Yeah. I want them to disintegrate two to three sizes. Yeah. Right. At do a very bare was, minimum. Do you think that was really his son, too? Uh, I think that was his son. I'm sorry, that guy they was looked, hot. I wrote down in my well, notes, his son was hot. Yeah, hot, but like, a, like, like they put on nerdy Love glasses. Yeah, it was the nerdy glasses it that was, threw me off. I don't care. He I had a hot feeling, face, but he looked like him. I he have had, a feeling that was him. Yes, they had the same facial structure. Yeah, I yeah, agree. I had the I same do. thought. Did you guys also catch on that they were talking about how right now they were getting 15000 an episode and Simpsons get $650,000 an episode? I mean, for animation, what, what could? I'm sorry, it was just wow. ridiculous. Oh, but The Simpsons has been on. no, I know, that's, that's, I know, it's right. iconic. I know, and I guess yeah. Yeah. it's the first animation to just and it's I mean, if you think of it, become a cult. Like it, it's yeah, it, I think it's a culture. Was it yeah. Friends? On its own. Friends that was getting a million an episode. Right. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. for At actually seeing. Each, yeah, I mean, you could see yeah. them animation. You wow, six hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. That's a great gig. I mean, I mean, it'd be like me. Demanding like a Ryan Seacrest salary, like oh you know, <laughs> I, I do the same. Done. I do the same hey, job, yeah. so I'm pretty yeah. sure I, I need to raise yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I oh actually, yeah, we don't get paid. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I actually have a, a caller oh. on the line who would like to jump in and talk to you guys. Fabulous, right. put him oh. through. Caller, are you on the line? What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, I'm Chris- Christine. Hi, Christine. How's it going? Hi. I'm doing good. Good. Did you check out Entourage tonight? I'm only like catching the last few minutes of it right now. You, I'm sorry, say that again. I'm only catching the last few minutes of it right now. Oh, okay. What are your uh, thoughts, or do you have a question for us? Um, I just want to say I was a fan of Lillian. You what? I was a fan of Lillian. Oh, she's oh, a fan of yours. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's oh, a good welcome. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you? Uh, what do you think of the show so far? Um, I like it. Uh, Christine, you're cutting out so much that we can't understand you. And you sound so cute. Um, <laughs> ow. Hold on. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. <laughs> My dog was on top of me. Oh! oh. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yes. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Get that. Get off. Get off. <laughs> so what was, uh, how are you liking the season so far? Um, I'm not gonna get so far. Do you find it as dark as we do at times? Like, were you? Um, yeah. Yeah. And who's your favorite character on there? Um, I don't really know the name. I forget. All right. Are you, you're a new fan. You just started checking yeah. out the show. Yeah. Well, you're in for a fun time. It's a great show, and it's lots of fun. Yeah. And we thank you for calling us, and yeah. make sure you uh, watch and watch us, and we'll fill you in even more. Yes. Okay. Thanks Bye. for calling. Right. Thanks. Later, Bye. Christine. Oh, how cute. Aww. Yeah. You have a fan. Get the dog off me. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it when that happens. No, yeah. not the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't again. lay on my neck. I can't talk. <laughs> All um, right. So anyway. Okay. So yeah, we were talking about the whole dice being greedy issue. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's a bummer. Mm-hmm. The next bummer. Uh, turtle is not only broken oh. up with such a cop out. He's oh also God. let go. Mm-hmm. Axed. Gold but watch. oh my God, women! I've heard of a lot of breakups: text breaking up, uh, phone breaking yeah. up. Having your dad, no, the dad breaking up. Dad, the dad, the dad of the. I think it's. The I think it's the That's uncle. A new one. Oh, is that the uncle? It's her. It's Alex's uncle, right? Or okay. family, family friend. member. Oh, family friend. It's someone. Yeah. Of whatever. Yeah. Having an old guy oh. break up with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, is anything lower? Like, We're like, oh, but thanks. You know what? The writing's been pretty good, but they're like, yeah. how do we write Alex off? <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Okay, right. Carlos, yeah. go break up. <laughs> there, done. And that is such a shame because that actress, uh, Dania Ramirez, is gorgeous. She's yes. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she's so fun. And beautiful. I thought Alex brought a fun element to the show. Yeah, I wonder she why did. they did that. I, I mean, I was rooting for the two of them. I'm like, you know. I res- mad respect for Turtle. Oh, he looks He pulls big. him in. He we does. Hey, I heard that, that he was actually, actually dating Jamie. Him. I don't like yeah. I really heard that he was dating Jamie. He right. Did. And, and yeah. they're still throwing in these little jabs. Um, Scott Lavin going, oh, I can't believe anyone yeah. would break up with him. It's like, right. Kate, you can't use those jokes anymore. He's attractive and he's... He like, lost a lot of weight, thin. it looks like. Yeah. 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 yeah, he lost a lot of weight. He lost over 50 pounds. He looks incredible. Wow. Wow. Deidre's really into him. Deidre, yes. <laughs> Deidre's had a secret Look at him. Deidre likes chubby Jerry Ferrara. No, I love all Jerry Ferrara. I think he's amazing. I know, I'm saying. Oh, but I love him. Yes, I've been loyal to 
since day love. one. She's yeah. been yes. loyal since the chum wow. before it came off. Yeah, that's right. Turtle true. was instantly that guy that you just kind of wanted to. He's just so love, you know swaddle. Oh, yeah, yes. that's so genuine. <laughs> well, that's he was so good. 16 when he started the show or something like that. I think so he was 22. Oh, he's ta- he's 31 now. So I thought I saw something no. about 14 when he actually did his uh, yeah, because his, his first read, role. His first yeah, they read. just talked about that. Yeah. How they were going to yeah. talk about the age young. differences between them then and they made him grow facial hair yeah. so he would look and they were going to explain that yeah no 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 he's 31 it's in the new, or Is he? I read online today he's 31 the show's been on for eight seasons she's yeah. yeah. wikipediaing yeah. him check out check yeah. out yeah. he was born can we get an IMDb I think he's seven, 78 or 79 he's, I've, yeah okay. I've, I've heard I think he's 8 Wow, he looks good for being 78. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, it took me a second to catch on. I was like, what do you mean? And then you're like, I think he's eight. I'm like, okay. We're having a lot of discrepancies. Oh, uh, but really, I mean, here's a guy that, you know, he's Here part of the entourage. Yeah. He's part of a crew that, I mean, here's, you know, Vince, Vince taking care of everybody. Mm-hmm. And he wants to do his own thing. I mean, yeah. he's really trying hard to make his own way. Yeah. He's coming you know, to his own. He really is. I he's, mean, Avion goes under, and what does he look to do? Open right. a restaurant. Right. Yeah. Like, Which, yeah. by the way, would you guys um, be interested in a baked clams restaurant? I don't know. <laughs> I've hung out with people that are really into baked clams. I don't I've know. It's a hot commodity among the right it, crowds. Uh, uh, muscles, Maybe it's a New York thing. He was talking anything. about New York, yeah, right? Yeah, he said that they have it there, and there's nowhere to eat good clams here. So uh, mm. I don't remember I'd be clams interested. in New York. I'd go. He's 31. Uh, He's, He's 31? 31. Okay. Cool. Right. So what? Thir- it's been on for eight seasons. Yeah. So he so, read when 23? he was like 22 oh. or 23. Yeah. Well, what were they talking about? Yeah. But I still, but I, you're I not the you're first person right? that has said that Right, they did it in the, the special. They said he was so, super young. Yeah. And so they were going to... They were going to oh. talk about or actually fit in there somewhere how these guys could actually be friends with such an age difference, but they forgot to talk about it or something, yeah. and then it never came up. But you don't care. No, but you, you don't, don't care. I never so even right. thought that like, he was like that the much The only younger. one that looks older is Drama, and he's uh, supposed to be older. Drama. Right. He, yeah. he and Ari. Him. Yeah. Love he, Kevin Dillon. He, he's comic relief at its finest. Yeah. He is. <laughs> <Really> is. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, the, a little nostalgia going on. I mean, it is like the first season it's like ed hardy threw up all over him right no offense ed hardy um, right, right. <laughs> well, i'm just he, saying oh, i'm sorry I'm offense like... ed hardy stop it okay calm down with these okay. signs thank you <laughs> can we just take a moment to observe the hotness that is um dice's oh, son oh there it is yes yeah, it was i thought plain. you were pointing to dice oh, i did too i know second, i'm like hey, what i wouldn't between put it between the biker me. gloves the cuffs the yeah. weight you know it's oh how do you dice, how do you guys like scott on? i think scott con is a phenomenal actor. Isn't he? I became a fan of his yes. in the Ocean series. I think he's fantastic. Oh, he's amazing. Well, I love, love his Ocean. father, James Kahn. Yes. So yes. anything right. that's spawned from yes. him mm-hmm. makes is, me love. Is rather yes. regal. There you go. Yes. Rather. Yes. Rather. Um, and then just what, just on that note really quickly, you know how so many shows, particularly 90210, which we grew up being obsessed with, uh, you would hear, they would do the whole fake, like, oh, we're like sisters, we love each other. But they all, Shannon Doherty and, and Jenny Garth, like, right. hated each other. I think these guys are actually friends. Oh, they are. They are. They, they are. seem like they genuinely like yeah. each other. I'm pretty sure Jerry Ferrara was Kevin Dillon's best man at his wedding a couple oh, years wow. ago. Wow. Um, so yeah, hopefully. Yeah, you can tell because women and, are completely different than men. Come on, we know true. that. Yeah, yeah. Catty, that is true. Is so oh awful. my god, <laughs> women can be so catty yeah. and cruel. And Not as much jealousy. We just kind of sit back and and have fun. The, yeah, and watch the cattiness right. and <laughs> talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we still love you. Yeah. Well, you should. I think <laughs> he's doing. Yeah. I think really. um, Scott Con is doing a good job though of also being when Ari's not in it, bringing in the little right. You know, zingers. He zingers. is a younger version of Ari. Yeah, he really is. Same same aura. You're a but I kind of like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's... He has a really accelerated posture, I've noticed. It's almost a lean back, the way he's saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's puffed up a lot, yeah, right? And I think he's short. So he's his, very his, short. Yeah. He's shorter than oh, everybody maybe he's trying else. To show his he's height. like a gorilla. He yes. just like, leaned back so he's far. He's taking charge. Taking charge. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's always leaning back. Great posture. But yeah. Great posture I guess that's a, a, sta- a power stance. I definitely uh, think yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm digging it. Yeah. That's all I have to say. No, he's huge. Take away. <laughs> I hope I hope his character is developed um, to like a whole nother level in the movie. I would love to see him be like the next big power baller, like the next Ari, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or but when does he like have that? time to do Certainly. this? Because he also shoots that other Hawaii show, Hawaii Five O. Hawaii Five O. Mm-hmm. He's a and very he's busy on there too. Wow. Dude's busy. Guy, he's surfing. Because yeah. they're using him a lot in this too. I know. Yeah. I thought yeah. they'd maybe phase him out, but he's awesome. But maybe series regular now. Is Hawaii Five O on right now? It might be on hiatus. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it airs in the fall. Okay. So they're making it work. Yeah. Um, another depressing storyline. Oh gosh. Are Ari and and the misses well, separated? Yeah, but he's hooking up. It's all good. 
He is, but still, yeah, I he's felt going no, on. He's going on sad. really it's awkward dates. Really it is. Oh my god, when he it was is. dating that young girl, and she's like, I, I didn't even know what a date is. Can we talk I'm about going, that? What yeah. did she mean? Did she just uh, mean she that time has changed? changed. Yeah. yeah, the times it, have changed, and guys don't take girls out to dinner anymore. It's like, it's, hey, want to come over and smoke, and then we can bang. Like that's what that's what it means. Another example of the times changing. It really is sad. Recently, that that started happening. I, I, you're but, asking me like. Uh, <laughs> you so, Lily, can you, you tell, tell us a little think, bit more about that? I think I. I mean, not that I've participated, but I think to a certain extent, Get that clear. Um, our generation's a little lazier when it comes to dating. Yeah. With the advent of Facebook and other things, you don't have to like pick up the phone and say, "Hey, I'd love to take we you out to dinner up tonight." Off our butts anymore. Yeah, I'm I don't just... feel like guys like a first time meeting of a guy like, "Let me take." Oh, you there to it dinner. is. There's the scene where yeah. he's yeah. so there uncomfortable. He's so uncomfortable. Yeah. And Simon she says what? Is she's, all, all, yeah. she's all over him. And, and it, there it is. He could have the opportunity just like that. And it just becomes so awkward. And he realizes yeah. it. And we, I think he realizes like how really, old he is in that situation. Yeah. 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 Breakups, they're hard. Of course, right? sure. And there's a prime example. Like you get confused. You don't know which way you're coming or going. No, but you I think it's you, also this this whole youth like like it's he could really tell like such yeah. an age gap. Yeah. And oh my God! you saying. could tell he felt he, I felt Awkward. he played that off really well. The feeling of like you've yeah. been with someone kissing somebody else would be like, Ugh, yeah, this hasn't happened in a very long time. Well, I don't know about you that know? because he found his way right into Dana. Oh, that's, that's true. true. There's but also a little fire there. That is true, but, but he's I think, been with her before. But he's comfortable. Yeah, you know? I mean, he always jokes that they've hooked up before, and he's yeah. going to release whatever if she screws him over in a business I deal. I like so. her. You like I Dana like too? Yeah, yeah, I like her too. Yeah. Right? She's a girl with her head on her shoulders, and she always comes through for them. It's a great house. Oh, fantastic. I feel like she's Very been nice underrated house. in this whole thing. Yeah, she has. Right? She's yeah. a fantastic actress also. Isn't I think she? I think and she's yeah. got her witty job. little, you know, she's yeah. strong. I like her a lot too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I thought it was interesting that Ari agreed to go on a date with a manicurist who is what, 24 years old, yeah. when last week uh, the he waiter was, was appalling. He was criticizing yeah. his wife for dating. Of course, a, a waiter well, who's much younger than standard. her. Uh, exactly. exactly. And then, you know, I, I got to give props to my girl, Patty Stanger, at Millionaire Matchmaker. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> these men, I'm sorry, Shout these, out. these no, men who are in their close to 50s. These like, men, excluding the two over here. Right. It's, Absolutely. Right. You two are Just gems. That on. It's, yeah. Yeah, you guys are nowhere near 50. Inferred. So. Well, no, no, nowhere. Barely 39. Right? Barely. Yeah, barely. Um, these guys <laughs> just want to go on pure looks, but then once they get to the actual date, it's like, Want to do shots? Like, they have nothing in common with these young girls. Mm -hmm. So I think mm. Ari felt the effects of that first Yeah, I know, I know for a fact that he dated a young girl. Who, Jeremy Oh, 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 oh. I won't go anywhere with that and reveal oh. anything, but let's just say, I know he dated a younger. After Buzz oh. TV exclusive. Oh, look at you trying to get an alley. No, and I, I, I swear to you, I'm watching this going... Huh, did he get did that idea? Real life experiences. <laughs> yeah, did, into, they? did they write oh, that into the show? He's dated a few years. Jeremy Piven. Uh, are we talking yeah. about Piven? Piven's yeah. 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 No, he came into a play I was in one time, and it was with some. He was with some like twenty year old model. Right. Really? Yeah. In the front. So we've all seen him somewhere with a young girl. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Here we go. He hangs out in Malibu. He's always oh. Oh, yeah. around now, the colony No, he is a sweetheart. Area. He came to WWE. He, he actually did. hosted. Did he? Um, oh, yeah. wow. I'm sure and, I love him. And it was great. I actually have myself introducing him as he coming into it with a car and everything. Oh, and cool. The car. Yeah, it was, was pretty cool. good. He came in with... Um, What's the little, the little uh, the, Asian dude from The Hangover? Yes. He pops, he oh, pops oh, out of the nice. trunk of the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like in the movie. Yeah. Yes. Oh, very like nice. Right? Right? No, he was, nice. and he was just he's so... Energetic. He's energetic. He's energetic, but he's so out. nice. He was nice to everybody. He was amazing. Oh, cool. Like, he's oh, a really nice guy. You had a nice good experience guy. with him. Great experience with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And took photos with everybody. And so he was great. And, and Mark Cuban, he's another huge WWE fan. Oh, yeah? So he's been awesome and... So it was great to see, you know, when when I see these guys and I'm like, you know what? It's so good that I don't sit here and go, oh, you were horrible. You know, right. that I could actually right. go, oh, he was such a nice guy. Yeah. You know, really? Because there's not, not everybody's like that. Well, <laughs> case in point right there. That guy. That guy. Okay, oh, so Carl. Let's talk about <laughs> Carl. That, that oh, guy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so do we remember him? From The Client. Did you ever see the movie The Client? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. he was the main... But I don't bad even remember guy, him bad. from right. Entourage. That's what I'm saying, from Danger Beach. Oh. I mean, granted, yeah, this was that, Did that happen? Yeah. You, yes. The same actor? Yeah, because he looks really familiar, and I don't know where else I would have well, seen him. Well, see, must have been he's season two. He's one of those two? actors that you know you've seen he him. Plays yeah. the he's been in a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, he's been in a lot of things, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I remember Danger Beach. Yeah, yeah. What season It's when, okay, when Vince is, Vince is in, like, 
some foreign place on the beach. It's him and Turtle go away, and he's oh. unreachable. Cabo, and I think. And he's frolicking with the girls. Right. He's like, girls, do Season... you like the name Danger Beach? And they're like, Three. ew, that sounds stupid. And Season he's like, I'm not four. doing it. Yeah. Wow, and then this he comes is an thing. impressive amount of knowledge. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Really, right? <laughs> well done. I can't even um, remember last season. <laughs> 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 last week. What happened last week? <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember. I don't I don't particularly remember him, but I know I know his face yeah. from right. Entourage, I feel like. I don't know what else I've known He did a pretty good job from. of coming He was a good co-cat. I believe he was snorting and going crazy. And I believe he was wearing eyeliner. I was just going to say, thank you. How's the actor's makeup looking? Like, he looks like a legit crackhead. No, I thought it was perfect. Like, the hair, he looks, like, scruffy and unkept. You know what else he's from, I just realized, actually? Sons of Anarchy. Anyone watch that? That's right. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, that's where that is. And actually, he's He's amazing on that. He's great on that. Yeah. He's amazing on that. He's a great actor. Mm-hmm. Um, were we expecting the end? Like, did you have any foreshadowing that that no, was? No, I thought he was going to overdose. Feeling. I had a feeling I'm as not, well. And right? I, I, I thought the guy's it was intuition. it was yeah. going that way. I saw a gun. I thought he was just going to start having a seizure. Right. I didn't uh-huh. expect yeah. the, Two ways. the bang. Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I thought he was going to OD. I didn't know if he was. See, right. at first I thought he was going to bring out when he said "sit here, sit here." I'm thinking, oh my god, he's going to go get a gun. And or he's maybe bring shoot fence or something. That's what I thought. And then when I saw him doing the coke, I was like, oh, he's going to overdose. Never did I put the two together. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but well, I, th- I just thought he was himself. gonna OD. It would go silent. They're still banging on the door, mm-hmm. and he's not yeah. responding. Right. And then they find him dead. I had no idea the gun was gonna come into the situation. No. But right. there's something else, you know, Hollywood pressure. I mean, you gotta be stable yeah. coming into this business. You and and here's a classic case of older Hollywood, right? Younger Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the older sees the younger and still trace, tries to maintain their relevancy. And then there's the younger and the problems. You got family. You got yourself to think about. You got like a daughter in Switzerland at a very a ritzy right. boarding yeah. school. Yes. Apparently. Apparently. Trying to keep your home on the right? Uh, hills. Right. Yeah. There, there comes that darkness too. The thing Season I don't eight. like about that device, though, at the end is because so now they've seen a guy who just shot his face off. And like, mm-hmm. obviously, that's going to have to carry into the next episode. Right. So all of a sudden we yeah. have at least two episodes of suicide talk Dark. where it's I just don't okay, want that in my but entourage to that to the uh, like to speak to that. Their whole house burnt down and it was never mentioned in the second yeah. episode. So I'm sorry. No, it's not That's as dramatic true. as a suicide. They're at the Roosevelt now. <laughs> yeah. Which is beautiful. Right. Which oh is my great. God. Rooftop. I don't want that room. <laughs> Which is yeah. great. They, Seriously. I mean, well, some kind of but that's, not, that's not how life works. If my house yeah. burns down, I don't just ro- run well, off the roof. You're not Absolutely. a famous movie Burning star down. yet. That's Deidre. true. Uh, we are talking about there. Aquaman. All right? Yeah. Well, as it's burning down, men with gills will swim. Absolutely. I mean, maybe we just need a new start. That's yeah. his response no, to like, love as he's watching starts. his house. They lived in Jessica I think sometimes he's a, he, they, they make his character too cool about everything. Too cool. Yeah, for too cool. laid back. Right? He too doesn't cool. care. And I yeah. actually liked last season when he was actually standing up for himself or, or, or had a little bit more of a grit to him. Mm-hmm. When he got into the coke and all of that, I know mm-hmm. it was depressing, but at the same time, he was like, I want to do this. I want, you know, like. 100% was, agreed. Right? Agreed, yes. And I was like, yeah. whoa, I've yeah. never seen this in his character. Yeah. So it was actually exciting to see that. That was the first time, really, that his character Ever. started developing, I thought. Yeah, because it comes always, always the same. Like, cool. He was very safe yeah. from season one, He would one, sit right? on the couch and say, E, do, do what you got to yeah, do. do. And do, do. he's back to being passive again. Like, yeah. Carl, sit down. And there's Turtle going like, what the hell is going on? Like, the way that a normal person would react. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Vince is a little too... Um, Mellow for me. He's mellow. Johnny's trying to keep everyone to get uh, Jamie, oh, Kennedy. Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Kennedy. Segway to wow. horrendousness. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently they thought it was horrendousness as well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Billy Walsh was not pleased. <laughs> no, no. And I've, I've come around on Billy Walsh too. And the first time he was right? introduced a couple seasons ago, I was like, he's too negative. It's he's like, amazing. Because no, it was, the show him. was so yeah. positive up yeah. to that point. Then it's like negative, dude. Along with that guy that was the drug friend from The Wire. Remember when that guy came in in season two and was like trying to get uh, Drug friend. Yeah, remember the big sure. white guy that came in from the oh. wire? Oh, Dom. Yeah, Dom. Yeah. Oh, Dom, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're Vince. Right. You're Vince. Right. Yeah. It like was that. like a poor <laughs> See, version of Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. bad versions of Andrew Dice Clay going right. around in circles. Yeah, I love Billy's comments. But I've come around on Billy. I really like yeah. him. He's fun and yeah, his negativity <laughs> is now kind of funny. What did he say? He's yeah. Yeah. Sucks I like and I hate everyone. Now. Yeah. And he looked like a little evil wizard or troll with his star. He was like a little warlock. Yeah. He's like winning. No. I I didn't just say that. Yeah, come on. Come on. Six months. A lot of the last week. Last week we told the viewers that we read a lot of articles. Right. Right. 
I read, I read an, them only for the article. Uh, absolutely. Right. Um, I read an article that scrutinized and criticized Vince coming out of rehab. Um, there was a girl waiting with a poster that said winning. And it's like, okay, oh, Entourage, ooh, enough that. with yeah. the early 2010 yeah. But they um, taped jokes. it probably I, right when it was happening. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand, okay, well, but they should know that. that they should you know, know. No, it's going to no, air. No, no, Come on now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, probably I'm sure thinking, that's someone's job. That's true. Well, they should be fired. And be relevant. Yeah. Charlie Sheen fizzled so fast. It I was. mean, winning was popular in what, March? February or yeah. March? Hey, by the yeah. way, I know it's a little off topic, but just because we're bringing it up, when does uh, Two and a Half Men come back on? I don't know, I'm but I've been reading sure. a lot about it on, yeah. on right? TMZ. Ashton Kutcher's cool. apparently yeah. killing yeah. it, and the ca- the crew is obsessed with him. Really? Awesome. They think he's fantastic, yeah. That's cool. I, like I mean, Kutcher. he was always okay. really funny on that 70s show. Yeah. yeah. Always. Oh. Which show? Oh, that you know that '70s show. show. <laughs> Did you ever watch it? I'm just I've I've left the building. But yeah. now 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 back to Andre. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, do we want to just we we just saw a little bit more of Dana mm-hmm. Gordon and and Ari? Yeah. Just oh. to to wrap that argument or that chat up a little bit. I think that that's fantastic. I would not be disappointed if that's who we ended up yeah. with. Me too. Right. And nothing against the misses, but she's a little. She blew it. She's Not, banging other cooks. Well, that, that's, that's why he but went he the young Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. You're bang, but you're, wait a minute. Give her a break. I mean, she was fed up. She was break. fed up. I mean, right. come on. Well, Look he what he's was put so, her through. Yeah, he is so he's put her annoying to her. Uh, yeah, but, I'm getting a very but he is very. I will, say, <laughs> yeah. I will say though that I didn't really like. I mean, I like it when a man has a lot of respect for a woman, but at the same time, I felt like ours very. Right? It's, a she little. did a puppy for yeah. a while. No, no. That was, that was he pretty would do, good. He would do, yeah, that was intense. <laughs> I do good puppy. <laughs> yeah. well, I've been told that's a few right. times. No, not the leg, I not the leg, puppy. not the leg. Get off me. Okay. Um, um, I oh, think that he was. would do something horrible or irritating or annoying or embarrassing, and then he would act like that. That right. was his way of like being like, oh, baby, let me buy you a new car. Like right. all this stuff after she'd be like, Ari. I After think it's because of her so money. Horrible, started, right? Yeah, she comes from money. She okay. comes from money, right. so I think that he was doing that but, just yeah, because of the true. money. Yeah. Um, I, I think there was a lot of begging and pleading. That was yeah. a, yes, lot a lot of begging and pleading. Definitely. Yes. A lot, like more than needed. But I think to a certain extent, Ari needs to be with someone who understands his grueling hours, his mm-hmm. lifestyle, his his work, right. his industry. Yeah. And if Mrs. Yes, and if Mrs. Ari's yeah. b- biggest concern is um, is being Brentwood, treated well and being treated with I respect, know, then so she annoying. needs to move on. Yeah, <laughs> if her concerns are well, so well, unrealistic. <laughs> Gosh, true. I mean, Women and their needs. <laughs> so it's never ending. <laughs> and it's just so sad because you know they you assume that they got married when they were both her. here, and then Ari's <laughs> career takes off, and mm-hmm. she's still. The housewife, but now yeah. he's a, a big baller who hangs out with Dana Gordon on the weekends. That's something that you see a lot in Hollywood. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, you see a lot of that in Hollywood. And sometimes and it sucks. A woman is a celebrity; they're the talent, and then their significant other, kind of, you know, in the shadow. And how yeah. you deal with that? You got to be strong. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's broken up both. when the other person both ways. and that Ryan and it goes both ways. And It'd be tough. Yeah. It's broken yeah. up a lot of couples, unfortunately. So it seems like a lot more. Lately, right? I mean, yeah. it seems every other day so and so is breaking up. So, and they've been together. It's and now it's all the veterans. And when I say veterans, like the the couples that have been together for a really long 15, time, twenty years. I think you're being generous years. there. Like, in Hollywood land, I think J Lo and Mark Anthony were together forever. When it yeah. when in reality it was like six years. Well, wait, but, who there? There was some. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get put on the spot now. Wasn't it Kurt Russell and? Um, Goldie Hawn. Uh, Goldie, Goldie Hawn. They're Goldie still Hawn. together. No, they're still together. Are and Susan together? Sarandon yeah. and, and Tim oh, Robbins. Sorry. Tim Robbins. Thank you. They yeah. that. That's where I was yeah. going with that. Sorry about that. was that. ages okay. ago, by the oh, way. <laughs> no, I know. That was not but lately. We're recapping like two years ago. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm out. I see okay. what you're saying. Yeah. So, but they were together for a really long time. They were. No, I'm just saying. It happened. Long time, and it happened. I never even saw J-Lo and Mark Anthony together. See, like, I, I did. Well, you probably really, just saw J Lo and Mark Anthony was standing behind her. And yeah, you didn't well, see that. Him. Yeah, I, I, he's yeah. just got <laughs> too much of an ego to be able to handle her. I just thought in her Bronx, right. New right. York, Puerto Rican, come from similar backgrounds. You know, she tried the Ben Affleck thing, and he might have been um, a little too articulate for her. He's like Harvard. <laughs> he's Harvard educated. I'm sorry, she's not. I don't know if they bonded on that sort of a level. P. Diddy might have been a little too that urban for her. Yeah, I don't know if that lifestyle was what she that really was... wanted after that gun incident. Right. Um, no, they, the, I thought Mark Anthony they, was a great fit for then her. Then she was but, with yeah. a dancer. So. Right. And now yeah. she's being sued by her first husband, who's doing Playgirl. 
Oh, you, really? You know oh, wow. Magazine still sued? existed. I didn't uh, know no, sorry. <laughs> she's not. Um, she's suing him. He's putting out a sex tape. He's trying to distribute a sex tape with J Lo in it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, then she could become like. Kim Kardashian. All right, become the biggest. <laughs> no, celebrity that's in just J-Lo. now we're opening a, a and endorse anything can. and everything. No, J Lo is, is on a far. I don't even care if she can't sing. She is. She knows what's up, and at least she mm-hmm. has Those. a talent. She can dance and perform. She yeah. is and, a performer. And she's, no, no, she can, and she's yes. flawless. Okay, dance so, and perform. Yes, right. That's a lot but, of good qualities. So for sing live. Yeah. Whereas Kim so Kardashian is gorgeous, but you don't. She doesn't have an actual talent that she's no. exhibiting. No. Yeah, she wears Skechers shoes very well. She does. She, she does. does. That is a shape talent. Ups. She we walks all really that. well yes. in her shape up, <laughs> and she ups. takes her quick yes. trim very effortlessly. Yeah. I'm not saying she's not business savvy. I'm not saying she didn't build an empire. That's great, but she's not exhibiting any sort of talent. Right. Above the ankles. And yeah. Um, <laughs> but those sketchers take. But hey, <laughs> what do Kim Kardashian and J Lo have in common? Their booties. Booty. There you go. Yeah. They, they have worked that it. You well, far. you know that's who who Kim Kardashian from day one has said that's who she aspires to be like. Jennifer Lopez is like her ultimate. Really? So, oh. you know she did try there singing. I know. They make but, Selena um, too because okay. that's but, J Lo's okay. is a bug. Most amazing movie of all time. Right, well, let's, let's not. Uh, oh, Selena. Night, I, night, you know what? I always say, and she had me at Selena. Yeah. Death helped J Lo because Jennifer Ooh. Lopez because people saw her in that role singing. They thought she was singing in oh, the movie. They did. Yeah, they do not know that she was lip singing, and that's yeah. really yeah. Selena's right. voice. Yeah. A lot of people thought she was singing. So when she came out with an album, they're like, "Well, it yeah, was a little more believable." Yeah, right. They already placed her in that whole aura, so you believed it. Yeah. So true. So I, I said, if but Selena she showed her died, acting chops. She, she can act. Oh, she that can was, act. She's fantastic. Oh, absolutely. In that. Absolutely. Okay, enough J Lo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, now that we've broken right. down J Lo, right. yes. let's mm-hmm. move on. Um, we're editing that. We were, last... we were getting dark there. For we were... <laughs> Seriously. Um, last topic before we go to a commercial break. Um, I want to get your guys' opinion on Dice. They went mm. ahead and replaced him. Fair? Not fair? Are we sad to see him leave the show? Is that how it works in Hollywood? Well, I don't think we could have handled two more episodes of Dice demanding no. something. No. We all yeah. don't really care enough about him. No. Yeah. So well, she I cares think about it, the sideburns. So. Hasn't given us you, a reason. You care because no. you hate them. No. <laughs> yeah. I, number one, let's correct that. I despise the existence of his sideburns. What about number sideburns one. in general? Number two, don't care about him. Sideburns. <laughs> You know, you Old gotta rock them correctly. Okay. But triangles that come to the tip You're not into it. No. Okay. And uh, don't care about him. And also to be that greedy. I think they're showing a point too. Who do you think you are? Stop it. Exactly. Right. I yeah. mean, come on. I hope all the struggling actors out there watch this and yeah, realize. Right? Absolutely. Stop, stop being on your high yeah. horse before you've ever sold before one record, anyone. before you've What's ever been that? in one commercial and you're already making all these diva demands. Quick story. Yes. At a restaurant, this waiter, um, I heard this through a friend, but I'll tell it as though it happened to me. So my waiter at this restaurant was saying he's an actor and he was saying he was up for a year contract on Days of Our Lives or Young and the Restless. And they offered him, I think it was eighty thousand dollars to hold him for the year. And his manager says, No, you should hold out for more money. You're worth more than that. So he turned it down. And then, so they gave it to somebody else, and obviously he's still waitering at this uh, restaurant. Uh-huh. And there you go. so it's a real people get egos when no, they don't even have anything. Especially right. daytime television, right. people are replaced like that. Yes. And uh-huh. I'm a huge fan of General Hospital. Yes. I know I'm not an 80 year old woman in my bed, but <laughs> you don't have to be. I love it. It's okay. You don't have okay. to. Be. So and they, they replace take, people every ten minutes. So, oh, but not yeah. Vanessa Marcel, who's a goddess. Hey, I Never. die for her. Where she's I the used, she walks I used on. to be stuck on uh, Young and the Restless. Oh and really? I, oh my god, like so much. And I turned it on the other day, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, everyone's still, still there. Oh, still. oh yes, <laughs> Jack's still there. Well, the Victor's main still there. one, and it's probably the same storyline still. Line still. Oh, yeah. still. Ten there. years later, it's probably yeah. the same party that they're at. It's kind of like the same as WWE. You turn it on, it's. Hey, everyone's still there. No. <laughs> I'm not there. I just, <laughs> I just nice. feel like we, you know, they're struggling. They're not Brad Pitt and, and Clooney, mm-hmm. okay, where they can afford to be picky and and mm-hmm. have a, a high horse and whatnot. Please, they're two no-name actors who were given a chance and it tested well. I don't know why you oh. wouldn't just run with it as far as you humanly can go and to get any sort of a paycheck for like like uh e put it you I, you have a trailer you're sitting in an air-conditioned booth you do it in your underwear yeah in two hours right. two, hours, two, hours, two hours. hours a week and every actor that i've ever interviewed will always that? say the voiceover movies like monsters inc and, right. and yeah. aliens versus monsters whatever they're like it's the easiest work of all time yeah i don't yeah. need hair makeup i come yeah. in it's, it's so easy right it's a voice. 
So. And it's fun. You're doing animation. I yeah. mean, you're, you're getting into your kid like. Yes. Yeah. You're tapping Boys. into yeah. your kid. It's not kid. like you get to do that when you're in a child Bye, dice. in front of the camera. Bye, Bye dice. Thanks Bye for dice. You had fun. You. You had fun on Ciao. the show. <laughs> um, but speaking of Johnny Bananas, we got a, a piece of news and gossip about that tonight. So let's go ahead and take a uh, quick commercial break. We'll be right back with all your entourage news Don't and gossip. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Genesis is a drama queen. This yes. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. This television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's Shakespearean. Like you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy... Nucky is a villain. 424 256 1729. 424 256 1729. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig, the wig. <laughs> when the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Welcome back to After Buzz TV. We're going to go ahead and toss it over to DJ Jesse Janity, who's going to give you your entourage news and gossip for the week of August 7th. After Buzz TV News. So the former Real World star Johnny Bananas is threatening to sue HBO over his name. Storyline used on Entourage, claiming he owns the rights to it and never gave permission for the show to use it. Johnny was out at Besso in LA last night and told TMZ, quote, It's not like I spilled hot coffee on my vagina <laughs> and I'm sucks. trying to make a buck <laughs> off of it. My identity has been stolen, man. He adds, I've been on television for the last five years, acting like a jerk-off, creating this name, making it a household name. And I'll be damned if some half-assed gorilla is going to come by and steal my thunder. I intend to fight vigorously in defense of of the years of hard work and dedication I've spent making Johnny Bananas a household name. And the purpose of this lawsuit is aimed at protecting the integrity of my brand. (laughs) A spokesperson from HBO tells TMZ the folks at Entourage have not received any correspondence regarding this matter. Okay. So we were talking about this earlier today, and I don't know if you agreed with me, but I definitely think Johnny Bananas, uh, the character from MTV's Real World and all the challenges, absolutely has a claim. His name is registered. It has been his brand. It is on television, so Mm -hmm. it's not like he made it up. Um, the proof is in the pudding, and I think he's going to go after HBO vehemently, as he should. I don't think this is the first time that Entourage has stepped on toes. Really? Can, can you recall? Well, that's what I'm trying to think of. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I no. know I'm here. I don't want to be making any sort of claims or anything, but it just seems that they kind of take what's already happening, and they start making a story off of, I mean, legitimate what's, news, like yeah, yeah. what's going on. Mm-hmm. you got to be careful when you're doing that. I would think that they would know better than that. I don't think they but that's know Hollywood. who Johnny Bananas from Real World yeah. is. I but think, you would think somebody would have well, told them. I'm, well, I'm sure. On their whole right. in the, right. so And you know, know what? They probably said, not paying attention. All right, I'm sorry. If Johnny Bananas catches on, then we'll give him his little measly whatever. Settlement money. Yeah, that's yeah. What, it works with the storyline. That's what we want to do. I don't know. But I think he is out of control thinking that he's a household name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard of him. I, I no got to be on, I, I have actually, no idea who he actually is. I actually want to speak to this because I do I host uh, the Real World Road Rules oh, Challenge yeah. okay. and tell. Johnny Bananas is, is actually on the season this year. And he does not he's worked hard for what? I don't know what character he's talking <laughs> about. He wears a, ban- a bandana. He's, yes. He's oh, sun- I thought you were going to say he wears a banana. That yeah. would have been yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> he, he wears a bandana and sunglasses. And he doesn't have to work hard to be an asshole because he just is an asshole. You, we've watched these people from the real world for how many years? You kind of get a base of a what they what they really are like. I mean, you can tell the situation and when you watch Jersey Shore, the character that they're playing. Right. right. But Johnny Bananas is not a character. He is just honestly a he dude. He made up person. that name. Bananas. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. think if you, re- like, I can't go on TV and pretend to be Ryan Seacrest. That's a registered person. I can't assume his identity. No, they're not assuming his identity or using his identity, but the name Johnny Bananas, I think if he no, trademarked it, he has a, he has a claim. Case. So it's I a play on because the Johnny Bananas I don't think, I think it's irrelevant and looking if he's at anything. Going, you are Bananas, so <laughs> check it out. This you is what we think or, of you. Yeah. <laughs> Right? You've got to remember they're also talking like about a gorilla. So, I mean, you think of gorilla, you think of gorillas eating bananas. 
and it's Johnny Drama. So HBO could sit there and go, no, it's Johnny from Johnny yeah. Drama. And yeah. then bananas from the we're referring to the gorilla eating right. bananas. Right. Sure, that could so, be their counterclaim, but exactly. they, you know, I'm sure his this guy's lawyer is gonna say, Oh really? It couldn't be like Johnny the Gorilla. I, I just yeah, my or, favorite part of this is that his comparison is between it's not like I'm a woman who spilled hot coffee yeah. on my badge. Because that makes him he very goes, upset. Right. And yeah, then he goes because well, that's um, totally applicable to this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he's really, like, absolutely. I've been on television for the last five years making an ass out of myself. It's like you're acting like yours is better than the other one. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's your you big comparison. Ass. Like, Seriously. You know what? You at, at the end of the day, even if this guy doesn't get a dime, he comes out a winner because we he's on TMZ yeah. and we just talked right, about right, him for right. 10 minutes. Yeah. Isn't that the way it goes? Did you know who he was yesterday? No. No, exactly. I didn't know a second ago. Okay. And everyone's well, going to go know. Google Johnny Bananas. No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I won't do it. I'm going to. Okay, next. <laughs> Secretly. Piece of news number two. Jerry Ferreira news. A dramatic weight loss isn't the only new tidbit of information to add to his recent accomplishments. He can now call himself a screenwriter. Mm. After mm. begging for a few years for an opportunity, Ferreira co-wrote two episodes of Entourage this season after creator Doug Ellen gave him the chance. He, quote, he babysat me along the way. It was a goal and I had from the very beginning, so we got it in the last season. Ferreira says it wasn't easy to write for himself. I wanted to write myself out this episode. <laughs> He said, I just didn't want anyone to think I was trying to do this to write myself some cool storyline. That was my own neurotic brain thinking. Ferrer is also filming a movie called Think Like a Man based on the best-selling relationship advice book written by Steve Harvey, mm. saying, quote, my character is the non-committal character. I've been with the same girl for a few years and it's time to go to that next level and it's not happening. He says he hasn't read Harvey's book, but believes, quote, you don't have a bestseller like that if you're just telling lies. He's on to something, which is all I will say. I mean, Jerry Ferrara is stepping it up just from being... Your that dream man just like his character, and, right? Yes. I mean, always wanting Evolving, to know right? what the next thing is. Right. In one episode, yeah. he goes from losing a business to starting up another one. Yeah. Like, And, and I will commend him Matt for the Probs. weight loss because, wow, oh, he, yeah. looks uh -huh. he looks great. He looks great. He does. Looks great. I'm I, turned on. I just always thought it was interesting that, you know, you'd see Adrian Grenier here and there. Kevin Connolly gets some roles. Um, obviously, he's not that into you. It was a fantastic movie. Um, <laughs> and, and you know, I don't really see too much from Kevin Dillon, but what, whatever. It's beside the point. Jeremy Piven gets a lot of work. Jerry Ferrara, I have not seen do anything no. other than mm -hmm. Entourage. No, you're right. True. So to see him finally be in a movie, no less this Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey book adaptation uh, or movie adaptation of his book, I think that's fantastic. I think it's great. And great. I think it's, I mean, he's a great... He's, you know what? Why he's so good? Because you don't see, you don't think he's acting. Yeah, no, that, yeah. I, well, I think that's really who he is. Right? A cool guy yeah. from New yeah. York. He's just authentic. He not, yeah. Any word, anything you get him, and he just makes it his own. Mm -hmm. Totally. So True. I can't wait to see him in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward. Yay! We love Looking. you, Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, piece number three. So the Entourage stars revealed their favorite episodes. Adrian Greener. Grenier. Grenier. The first episode because it started things off. Uh, Kevin Dillon said the U2 episode where Johnny Drama gets a shout out on stage, but more so he loved the Grand Canyon episode where Johnny Drama dropped to his knees and screamed, Victory. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Ferreira said the Sundance Film Festival episode during season two because it was the first time the guys left LA to shoot together. Rex Lee uh, said episode 13 of season two, Exodus, where Ari gets fired and Lloyd drives him home in his car <laughs> and gives him a pep talk. This was the first episode where the writers, directors, producers trusted Rex to do a lot in an episode. And Rex credits this to why he's lasted so long on the show. Also, Rex feels it was a beautiful moment for the Ari Lloyd relationship. And then Jeremy Piven said episode 7 and 8 of this season because it's just Ari being gutted, going after his wife, trying to win her back. Jeremy mm. said as an actor, it's some of the most challenging work he's done to date. Besides what? old school. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think I will agree with a lot it of these yeah. that they said. I mean, I I will say that when I heard the the shout out from you two, I was oh. sitting there going, "Was that real? Yeah, how did they get yeah. Bob yeah. to agree yeah, to that? Right. Yeah, like." Did that really happen? And I'm like rewinding. I'm like, no, there he is. And there's Bono. It's not yeah. like yeah. it's real. <laughs> that's kind of that was, an, I, wow. that's an epic moment, yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm like, wow. we'll forever remember that. Yeah. Do we really quickly just want to go around and say sure. your favorite episode or favorite moment or scene that you love? <laughs> wow, one put me on spot here. I okay. know. We'll start with the boys. Oh, oh gosh. 
thinking. <laughs> See, uh, everyone's I ready for this I, one. I, I, I got one. Okay, go. I don't know the name of it, uh-huh. and I don't even know if I can recall the season, but it's that moment where... Um, I'm dying to Roberts, know if it's the same one that Eric I'm going to say. Eric Roberts oh, okay. is in this flick, and they go to Joshua Tree in the yep. desert. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they trip. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, they are tripping up. And E just goes silent. And every yeah. time they look at him, it's that, like, E, what do you think? It was like... <laughs> yeah, you're right. I was laughing my butt off. <laughs> yeah. Like, Love it. He just has this... Uh, that, for me, I was like... I did it. Yeah, that was great. And 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 that's another moment between Ari and Lloyd. Mm-hmm. You know, Lloyd's having the party at Ari's house. Uh, Ari's house, yeah. and Ari's tripping out, looking around, and he thinks that something's chasing him. They're calling back and forth. Like it was just a. Yeah. I thought that was an <laughs> amazing, amazing had fun episode. With it. it looked like yeah. it. It looked yeah. like just a, a fun kind of go with the flow episode. Anytime they travel, it Any, looks like a blast. Right? Yeah. No. yeah, and they've gone some pretty awesome places on yeah. the show. Yeah, that was mine. Mr. Abbott. Um, I think I came up with one. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one I can think of. Um, when they make the commercial and at the end he does the big, like, pe- is it like the Asian? The Asian, yeah. He does the soda commercial or and something. And then he get trained yeah, by yeah. like an Asian woman. Martial arts. And mm-hmm. then they had like, I remember they had like some awesome sit down sex at the time. <laughs> and I just remember that seemed to have, that episode seemed to have everything. Yeah. I think for you, you like anything that had the sex. Yeah. Listen, yeah. let's not, yeah. you know, corner me into one <laughs> okay. thing that I like. But uh, if We're I We're going back to season thing, six right. where he's, you know. Anything if it's between that, that and shooting yourself in the face, I'll take yeah. that. Sure, yeah. understandably so. <laughs> kind the of happy way. moments. Yeah. Lillian? I can't think, I can't recall like one episode because I really like have enjoyed little pieces of everything. But I will say that, I, I will admit that when Lloyd first came on, I wasn't too sure about him. Right. Really? I didn't instantly fall in love with him. And as it's progressed, I have, like, I'm his biggest cheerleader. I love the yeah. whole acting, the camaraderie between the two of them. Because at first I'm like, oh, this is just so hokey. Like, this is too overacted or too yeah. over this or drama, mm-hmm. you know, dramatized. But dramatized, dramatization, whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, but he's totally, I love it. So anything that's with Ari and, and Lloyd, Lloyd, I really like it a lot, too. Nice. Mm-hmm. I will say one of my favorite episodes is it's in the season when um, when Vince is kind of it's after Aquaman and he is out of money. So they hire a little girl hires him at her birthday party. Oh, oh I remember drama that. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. and drama gets completely plastered and vomits all over like her projectile cake. Her cake. vomits. Yeah. Yes. I was dying another reason to love drama. Yes, and, always. And, and again, Vince didn't care. All right. Yeah, no. whatever. The party goes on. <laughs> I wasn't embarrassed. Yeah. Didn't care. No, it's just That's my brother. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing what he does. Um, I, I definitely know my favorite episode. It's called A Day in the Valley. Uh, it was the day that Aquaman opened up. They all go out to Northridge. <laughs> Drama has got his ice pack on his head. He It's like he's going to the Sahara Desert, traveling out to Northridge. They have the rolling blackouts, so they think that you know the numbers on Aquaman aren't that good. So they right. go get plastered mm-hmm. at a house party. Vince has Remember his that. his almost famous moment, jumps off the roof. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I love Are you talking about, wait a minute, it, it, because that just made me recall something that I just laughed so hard. Was that when they were going to the valley? valley. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god! I Amazing so agree. episode. No, that you was, don't understand. That was, was before. Drama. That was before I moved here. Really? Okay. So I didn't know about the valley <laughs> and what that meant. But now I have friends that live in the valley, uh-huh. so yeah. I totally know that degrees. It's hot. Yeah, from it's living, hot. you know, from yeah. the beach all the way over there. So yeah. when I see that now, you know that episode, you can appreciate it. I can totally appreciate it, and it's true. And I'm in the car going, "Oh my god, we have to go to the valley." Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I loved how drama took it to a whole new level. Got to stay hydrated, you know, yeah. passing the guys yeah. water bottles. Yeah. Stay yeah. hydrated, yeah. little bro. Yeah. Totally. He how many takes times everything. does he say that little in bro. one episode? Little bro. Little bro. How many times does he say that? Yeah. Yeah. Baby, yeah. Bro. Baby, bro. baby bro. Baby bro. Baby bro. Yep. What's up, baby bro? Yes. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for your Entourage News and Gossip for the week of August 7th. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. All right, so while uh, Dana Gordon's on the screen, do we think that something is going to materialize between the two? Well, yes. 
not after this. Yeah, we got a spoiler. Spoiler alert. I know, yeah. but I don't know if Jeremy Piven was just like really? figuratively speaking or if he was just generally speaking. No, because he's I been trying he to get his speaking. wife. He's trying. He's trying to but, win her back. Oh, episode seven, seven and, and eight. eight. Well, right? you know what? Then I think that uh, it's going to be where that. he is going to go with, with Dana. Like it's going to be yeah. like this whole thing. But then actually maybe right. this don't is where he starts where missing her again. Or gone. he <laughs> sees her with the chef. Well, we know he does. Uh, yeah, we know that. We saw Bobby Flay is going to do it. Okay. I didn't know that. So yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, that's why we're no. here. It's a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the first time that act, that actor's played a chef. I remember him from Las Vegas. Oh, well, really? you'll see it in the next one. You only caught a glimpse of who Bobby Flay is. See, this is why I don't like watching the little clips for the next yeah. week. It kind of gives it away. It, yeah. I'm like, well, turn it off. Turn it off. Spoiler. But I can't live eight. without yeah. them. I'm always like, oh my god, what is going to happen? You want it's like this. Yeah. I don't want to know. I don't want to see. <laughs> Fingers are like that. Uh, Watching a horror movie. It was it was teased that after with with the aftermath of Carl dying, they have to go down to the station, give a statement. Um, Vince might have to take a drug test, and he's clean, but he more did depression. smoke a joint. So, do we see more rehab? Maybe do we see Vince getting in trouble? Is he going to get off the hook? I hope do you not. see some, like is this another spinoff of Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan? Like it's just, I don't know. Sometimes I love the show, love it, love it, love it, but. Sometimes I feel like they're late to the game, you know. Like, like you think the whole rehab been... thing has already been played out? It has. It was very 2006, right? Yes. Well, the I DUIs just it's the last and... season. I don't have time for Vince to go to re- get in trouble and go to rehab. Right. right. <laughs> I wanted. To, right? I wanted time. Only have are, we going, are we saying like six <laughs> episodes just can't left? Right? Get happy, people. Yeah. I know. Get happy. Yeah, That's my mantra fun. every <laughs> show. <laughs> How many it. episodes are there? We just finished the third, so there's five, five more. Left. Five left. That's it? Five yep. left. That's it? High so. five. Oh High five. God. Good work tonight. High five. High five, guys. High five. Nice segue. We'll High be five. back here next Sunday night dishing all things Entourage. Thank you so much for being with us, and have a great rest of your evening. Bye. Enjoy. Sweet dreams. Adios. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz! See you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principal. 